It's pretty hard to believe that it's been two years since the Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary event that happened on April 10th, 2022. This, of course, marks two years since the unveiling of Kingdom Hearts 4. And if you were to have asked me back then, uh, okay, like, do you think we'd have another trailer by now? Or, like, at least know more about the game? I'd say, yeah, you know, absolutely. Standing confidently on that podium of this is not going to be the same development cycle as Kingdom Hearts 3, which I definitely still do stand by that, by the way. I don't think it's going to be as strenuous, but I certainly would have thought by at least April 10th, 2024, we would have heard a little bit more about this game. So far, we've only got one trailer and a few Tetsuya Nomura interviews. It is interesting though, Tetsuya Nomura did mention during this time that the reason why they decided to reveal it when they did was for one, it's a special thing to commemorate 20 years of Kingdom Hearts to let people know, hey, the next big Kingdom Hearts project is actually in development right now. But on top of that, he was worried that the game would end up being leaked. Even though technically, the game sort of already was leaked. You guys should remember the NVIDIA games list leak, which revealed a ton of in-development, unannounced game projects, and obviously Kingdom Hearts IV was a part of this. As of right now, I am highly anticipating the second season of the Kingdom Hearts Newswave. That's sort of what I'm dubbing it if I look back to the years of 2014 through to 2020. That's sort of season one for me. 2014 was when I started talking about Kingdom Hearts stuff here on the internet but those were glorious days man i've been really reminiscing about those times recently as i believe we are creeping closer to another kingdom hearts new season to do with missing link and kingdom hearts 4 it just really got me thinking about those times when we would stay up incredibly late waiting for kingdom hearts news the 2018 uh, trailer for Monsters Inc. certainly was one of the most memorable where the whole community basically had a sleepover over on Twitter waiting for the trailer to drop. And just the general discussions and I guess excitement factor of everyone taking to the internet to express how excited they are from what they saw within the most recent Kingdom Hearts trailer, giving their thoughts on a new world to reveal, maybe a new combat mechanic that was revealed. I simply cannot wait for those times to happen again. I also just missed losing my nut over Kingdom Hearts trailers. Those seasons of receiving new Kingdom Hearts trailers Genuinely, there aren't really too many other video games that get me as excited and as silly goose as a Kingdom Hearts trailer. There's something special about them because not only for, I'm assuming, most of us, it's our favorite video game franchise of all time, but it's always exciting to see each new trailer as it's generally a new Disney World reveal. It's almost very similar to that of a new fighter reveal for Super Smash Bros. I think if I also look at it over the course of time too, the reactions towards Kingdom Hearts has definitely helped put me on the map as a content creator just because I get so ridiculously stupid whenever Square Enix show more of this Disney RPG. The sad thing is, <laughs> A lot of time has passed since the days of KH3 trailers where I am very fast approaching 30. Not really, I mean I'm 27 this year but still I, I've often thought about like how I'm going to be reacting to Kingdom Hearts trailers like in the future. My energy will not change and I stand by that but I'm just waiting for the day when someone in the comment section's like 30 by the way. One thing that I am hoping for the return of Kingdom Hearts though is that Square Enix do provide us with I guess a clear kind of roadmap for the series. This isn't something that's kind of typical for single player games but just because Tetsuya Nomura and Square Enix gave us a Kingdom Hearts timeline for the 20th anniversary showing a lot of empty boxes which quite clearly represents a numerous amount of different Kingdom Hearts projects. I hope this timeline is not a scrapped thing and that actually gets reinstated and filled in with future projects. Like kind of give us something to look forward to. My most recent Kingdom Hearts topic was talking about just consistency of releases and how nowadays they have slowed down significantly compared to that of the first 10 years of Kingdom Hearts. I would absolutely love to see that consistency return, but of course the gaming industry is very 
very much in a different position now than it was throughout the early 2000s. Games just take an entire Stone Age to develop. One thing that is worth mentioning though is Disney is very apparently wanting to get more serious in the video game world, with recently making a $1.5 billion investment into Epic Games. Now, this is just specifically for Epic Games, though of course keeping in mind Kingdom Hearts nowadays is developed using the Unreal Engine, so there is actually a partnership here between both Epic Games and Square Enix. But from what Sean Shoptor was saying last year about Disney's involvement with video games, it just seems overall they're wanting to get more serious about them. This does make me think that hopefully sometime soon there will be a massive increase in Kingdom Hearts, not just because Square Enix want to, but also Disney. This is literally Disney's most popular video game. This is their biggest foothold in the video game industry. And through Kingdom Hearts 3, Disney have most certainly realized this. As we've talked about, the Square Enix AAA pipeline is currently cleared, with the only other sort of major release, though I don't believe it's AAA for this year, is Visions of Mana. Personally, I'm excited for that. However, though, this does mean that the next AAA game will be Kingdom Hearts 4. And by the way, in a previous video, we were talking about how there might be a potential chance of uh, Dragon Quest XII stepping into release before Kingdom Hearts 4. The only reason why I state this is because Dragon Quest 12 was revealed in 2021. It was revealed first. However though, with the recent update towards this game, it does seem as if number 12 is going through some sort of development issues. Due to supposed numerous delays of DQ12, the longtime producer of Dragon Quest, Yu Miyaki, is actually stepping down from the role to be reshuffled into a different section of Square Enix. The near producer Yosuke Saito will be taking over his position. This doesn't exactly come as great news, especially the whole mention of delays. The report is coming from Bloomberg, who are generally quite reputable when it comes to video game information in the industry, but it would definitely seem, because there has been just such a long time since DQ12's reveal in 2021 with literally no gameplay, not much information that this game is going through some type of a development hell. Now, I'm not going to sit here and celebrate over that fact because I certainly do feel bad for Dragon Quest fans. They're also waiting for Dragon Quest 3 HD, which still there's no news on. In a way, they sort of have it a lot worse than us Kingdom Hearts fans, but this almost definitively tells me that Kingdom Hearts 4 is probably Square Enix's next AAA release. However, I think one thing we can definitely say though is I think looking at the next big Kingdom Hearts title, which will likely either be like Verum Rex or Kingdom Hearts 5, is that I just really do hope that Square Enix decide to reveal the game when it's like a year to two years out of actually releasing. Sort of similar to what they did with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Final Fantasy XVI. It wasn't a great amount of time there where there was just nothing going on since the unveiling of those projects. I think Square Enix over time are getting better with this, but it just always seems to be this case with Kingdom Hearts where there are just numerous delays or an extended amount of time that happens with these KH projects that leave people without any clue as to what's actually going on in the development cycle. And Nomura has said in the past that they tend to accidentally uh, reveal these Kingdom Hearts projects way too early. It's starting to seem like that with KH4, but I am confident that 2024 will provide us with an update. My eyes are locked on Summer Games Fest for June, and really any other major gaming event throughout this year. Uh, Tokyo Game Show, The Game Awards, D23. Let me know in the comments section down below how you've been filling your time. Obviously in the space of time, a lot of great video games has released, so it's not like we're totally without. We are in the Kingdom Hearts sense of things, but uh, video games overall have been pretty decent since 2022. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with everything that's going on here. Check out my other social media platforms and a big thank yous to my turkey-tastic patrons. I'm Cynical, hopefully I'm on a fantastic day and we'll talk real soon.